welcome to my channel devs institute today we will see kmap part 2 grouping of cells in kmap first video that is part 1 we have seen different forms of boolean expression that is sop and pos and structure of kmap for two variable three variable and four variable as well as min terms and max terms max terms uh, with respect to the kmap structure in this video we will see how the cells can be grouped in kmap before i start i request you to subscribe to my channel by clicking subscribe button given below the video if you haven't subscribed it yet and click on bell icon to get instant notifications so this is two variable kmap two variable kmap contains total four cells while grouping cells you can group either a single cell means a cell with without any group a single cell or a group of two or a group of four or a group of eight you cannot make group of three five six seven likewise so you can make a group of one that is single cell group of two group of four or group of eight that is in you you can group cells in the powers of two one two four eight so this is two variable k map in this two variable k map this zero now we know how these cells are numbered so zero zero is zero zero one one 102 and 113 so 0123 here cell number 0 is adjacent to 2 cell number 0 is adjacent to 1 cell number 0 is diagonally opposite to 3 so you cannot make group of diagonally opposite cell it should be horizontally adjacent or vertically adjacent okay so you can make a group of 0 and 2 similarly you can make a group of 0 and 1 second number 1 is adjacent to 0 and 3 so you can make group of 1 and 3 or you can make group of 1 and 0 provided that this both cells contain 1 or both cells contains 0 in case of max terms similarly cell number 2 is adjacent to 0 and 3 so you can make group of 0 and 2 and 2 and 3 cell number 3 is adjacent to 1 and 2 so you can make group of 1 3 and 2 3 so this is about grouping of adjacent cells in two variable kmap now in case of three variable kmap first column is always adjacent to last column so 0 is adjacent to 2 1 like we discussed in two variable k map but 0 is also adjacent to 4 so you can consider a k map is a circular structure where the first column is adjacent to last column and first row is adjacent to last row so 0 is adjacent to 2 1 and 4 so you can form a group like this 0 2 0 1 or 0 and 4 similarly 1 is adjacent to 0 3 and in circular fashion 5 so you can make group like this 0 1 1 3 and 1 and 5 2 is adjacent to 0 3 6 0 2 2 3 2 6 then similarly we have 6 adjacent to sorry 6 adjacent to 2 7 4 so you can form group of 6 7 6 2 6 4 similarly you can form 4 is adjacent to 6 5 and 0 so 4 6 4 5 4 0 so these are some of the groupings shown here 
So, first column is adjacent to last column. So, this is about grouping of two adjacent cells. The cells are called as adjacent or you can group two adjacent cells if they are adjacent horizontally or vertically. Diagonal adjacency is not allowed. Now, grouping of two adjacent cell in four variable K map. In four variable K map, you have total 16 cells 0 to 15. So, here also first row is adjacent to last row. So, 0 is adjacent to 2, 0 is adjacent to 4, 0 is adjacent, adjacent to 8 and 0 is also adjacent to 1. Similarly, first column is adjacent to last column. So, 0 is adjacent to 1, 4 like we have seen in 2 variable K map, 0 is adjacent to 8 like we have seen in 4, 3 variable K map and here in 4 variable K map, first row is adjacent to last row. So, 0 is also adjacent to 2. So, we can make group like this 0, 1, 0, 4 also 0 and 2 and so 0 and 8 so these groupings are possible similarly 2 2 is adjacent to 3 6 10 and 0 so you can make group like this 2 3 2 6 2 0 2 10 10 is adjacent to 14 11 8 and 2. So, you can make group like this 2, 10, 10, 8. So, this is all about grouping 2 adjacent. Here also you can group normal 0, 2 is possible, 4, 12 is also possible, 12, 8 is also possible, 5, 13 is possible, 1, 5 is possible, 13, 9 is possible, 5, 7, 7, 3, 7, 15, 7, 6, 6, 4, 2, 6, 14, 10, 11, 10, 9, 11, all this also possible. Similarly, you can group 8 and 0, 9 and 1, 11 and 3, like that. Or you can group 4, 6, 12, 14, 8, 10, 0, 2. These groupings are also possible. Only crucial groupings are shown here rest you can imagine now grouping of four adjacent cells in two variable k map 0 is adjacent to 2 2 is adjacent to 3 3 is adjacent to 1 and 1 is adjacent to 0 so you can form a group of all four variables two variable k map in three variable k map four adjacent cells can be 0 1 2 3 2, 3, 6, 7, 6, 7, 4, 5 and as first column is adjacent to last column, we can make group like this 0, 1 and 4, 5. Okay. Next is this 4 are adjacent to each other 0, 2, 6, 4. Similarly, 1, 3, 7, 5. Now, grouping of four adjacent cells in four variable K map. Here, a single row can form a group 0, 4, 12, 8, then 1, 5, 13, 9, then 3, 7, 15, 11, 2, 6, 14, 10. Then we can have columns 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 12, 13, 14, 15, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we can have a group like group in a square. So this is one group. This is another group. This is third group. Similarly, this one, this one, this one. Then this one, this one, this one. As we know that first row is adjacent to row, last row, we can form group, group like 2 from the first row and 2 from the 
last row so 0 2 0 4 2 6 4 12 6 14 12 8 14 10 similarly first column is adjacent to last column so 0 1 8 9 1 3 9 11 and 3 2 11 10 now as first row is adjacent to last row and first column is adjacent to last column we have one more group of four adjacent cells that is four corners 0 2 8 14 they are adjacent to each other so we can group the four columns in uh, sorry four corners in one group then grouping of eight adjacent cells so in three variable k map these all eight cells are adjacent to each other then in four uh, four variable first two rows then middle two row uh, sorry first two columns middle two columns and last two columns then first two rows middle two rows and last two rows then we have first column and sec last column they are adjacent to each other first row and last row they are adjacent to each other so this is all about the grouping of variables two uh, two cells grouping of two cells grouping of four cells and grouping of eight adjacent cells in two variable k map three variable k map and four variable k map i hope you have understood the concept if you have any doubts you can ask me through comment section thank you